Alright, so uh, a couple of people have been asking how I animate because I use the line tool. A lot of people usually use the brush tool, but pretty much what I'm going to show you is just this quick, just how to walk or run animation in Flash. So, start a new one. Okay, so first of all, in the properties, uh, I'm going to have it 550 by 400. Doesn't really matter. And white background. And for this one, usually I do 24 frames per second, for, but for beginners, you should start lower. Let's just do 12. And for the, if you want the grid, it's Control G and then Show Grid and the size of the squares. And then if you right click and go to snapping, you can make it so it snaps the grid. But for now, just to start off, just pretty much just draw the stick figure, which is pretty obvious. So for the head, you're gonna want to use the oval tool, and to make it make sure so it's absolutely circle, you can hold shift. And also, I don't want that line around the end, so I'm just gonna use the selection tool and delete it. And then for the body, you're gonna use the line tool and make sure I'm gonna draw it broken up here so you can see, but make sure you have want like a bicep and then also the forearm and then same thing for the legs you're gonna want two parts and then I'm just gonna connect these and it's not really a big deal right now if they're even or not because we're gonna be switching that So the way I animate is I have each body part on a different layer, so that way they don't connect with each other, like I'll show you here. If I put that over that line, then it's kind of all messed up Like when I try and move them. So to put them each on a different layer, just highlight them all, and go distribute to layers. Alright, so right now I think his body looks a bit too skinny, so I'm just going to highlight all the body parts except for the head, or you can just highlight it, highlight them all and then hold control, no, hold shift to unselect the head. So I'm going to try, try 20. Alright, oh, and uh, to change the size of lines, it's in properties, which I think you can open with control F3. Alright, so now you have the basic outline of a stick figure. And obviously, you can fix it if he's too tall or too short or whatever, his legs or arms are too long. And also, just to make sure everything's organized, what you can do in the layers. You can go insert folder, and then click the top one, not the folder, but the top layer, and then hold shift and click the bottom one. And then just click and drag that up into the folder, and then that way, when you have multiple layers, like right here, let's say this is the background, then you can collapse that so it doesn't get in the way. Then expand that again. And now, we're pretty much, well actually first we should draw the ground or something. So in that background layer that I just made, like gray for the ground. And just draw a line. And then a rectangle. I'm gonna make that the line smaller. And then use the bucket. Fill that in. Alright, so once you're done drawing your background, you don't wanna mess it up. Like you don't wanna accidentally click it and screw it up, so 
just gonna lock that and it is a background so I'll bring it down to the very bottom so that way if he ends up walking over it he's above it instead of behind it so pretty much what I'm gonna do now in fact I should call this folder stick figure uh, I'm pretty much just gonna set him up so he looks like he's about to run so just in a running stance and sometimes when you're trying to do this usually I'll have a uh, snapping to grid off because when it's on it screws up the body parts and everything and I guess I should mention how to set them up into a running stance so pretty much all you're going to want to do is use the selection tool and then when you go over an edge of either his arm or his leg or whatever you'll see the little square or half a square around your right under your mouse so once you click you can drag his arm wherever you want. So pretty much just do that until he looks like he's about to start walking or running or whatever you're animating. Alright and then once you have him set up so it looks like he's about to run or walk or whatever you're obviously gonna want to drag him down to so he's actually on the ground. And also I think this looks a little awkward how his back is perfectly straight. So I'm just gonna highlight, double click so it highlights both parts of his arm. And then hold shift and double click on the other arm. And then also shift on his head and move that out of the way. And what I'm gonna do is bend his back a bit. And also so it's not perfectly straight, I'm gonna hold control and then grab in the middle so it makes a little bit of a curve in his back. I'm gonna put his head back on and same with his arms. Now obviously you're gonna need to fix the arms a bit. Alright, so now you have him ready to run, now it's to actually make him run. So pretty much you're just gonna go up here and highlight all the frames that his body are in and right click and insert frame. And then you want the background still there. So go way over here and go insert frame and that way the background's still there. So on the second frame you're gonna want to Pretty much when you first start walking or running, you're going to lean forward a bit. Like You just got to think about how you want to start walking. So pretty much highlight the top half, top half of his body or highlight it all and hold shift and unselect his legs. And then this little dot is pretty much like the spinning point of it. Uh, so like if I put it there, it's going to spin by there. Same with like if I put it on the top of his head, it's going to spin by the top of his head. So you don't want to put that down to right where his waist is. Just lean him forward just a bit. And hopefully I animate this right because I'm used to 24 frames per second. I'm going to try at 12 and see how I do. So, and also you're going to want to move him forward a tiny bit. And now you're going to want to put his leg, where his, his front leg, where it was in the previous frame. So to make sure, like you probably you don't remember where his leg was. So just up here, under the timeline, there's a button that says onion skin. You want to turn that on. And now you can see where the previous frame was. So now just move his leg to where it was. And now this one, you're going to want to extend it a bit so it looks like he's pushing off with his back leg. And then his arms, you just want to make them move just out a bit. Because he's just starting to walk. And now create another keyframe. And now move him forward and to move him forward and like if you don't want to move him up and down you can use the arrow keys but that's really slow so what you can do is hold shift and then hit right and it moves him a big space so let's do that move his arms out just a tiny bit more again Keyframes, and let's make them move three spaces ahead, holding shift. Now you're gonna want his legs to come off the ground a bit because if you stretch it all the way there, that looks too long. So just make it come off the ground a tiny bit. Once again, move his arms out a bit more. And move on. Let's move him 
I have space to head this time. And also, if I'm zoomed out more, and I try and move them, it's going to move them a lot more when I'm zoomed out than it is if I'm zoomed in really close. So you're going to have to, if you're zooming in and out, you're going to have to make sure you move them the same amount. So right here, you're going to want to make his leg look like it's crossing over the other one. He's about to take the next step. the ground and his other leg, his opposite leg that he started off on. You're going to want to make his arms start moving in now because they were moving out but you want them to slowly move back in. We're going to want him to stop running so we're going to have to slowly slow him down instead of just making him come to a dead stop. We're going to want him to slow down a bit. So instead of moving them the full head, make them maybe like half, or even maybe three quarter. And then move them just a bit less, so now let's make them about half. And now maybe just, just a tiny bit, and you're going to want both his legs to be coming to the ground now. Maybe straightening out a bit. And you're going to want him to start straighter back now. And now you can just do make them pretty much slide to a stop. So now that's what we have right there. And it doesn't really look like much but you can hit control enter to just kind of see them. So now Let's just say we want him to wait at the start for a bit instead of just running. You can highlight this entire section over here, even the background, and then just keep hitting F5 until you think that's long enough. So now he waits and then runs. And you can also do the exact same thing for the end if you want a bit of a wait at the end. 